In this video, we will try to solve a question on profit maximization and elasticity of demand from the monopolist demand curve and cost function. The question is like this. A monopolist faces the demand curve Q is equal to 60 minus P upon 2. This is the monopolist's demand curve where Q is the quantity, P is the price. The cost function is C is equal to Q square. Find the output that maximizes this monopolist's uh, profit. What are the prices at uh, profit? and output okay find elasticity of demand at the profit maximizing output so we have we have to find out a number of things here we need to find out the profit maximizing level of uh, output and price and also to calculate uh, the elasticity of demand okay at the profit maximizing output how do we solve this question let's try to uh, write our demand function we have the demand function for monopolist stays q is equal to 60 minus p upon 2 this is the demand function for the monopolist first step will be uh, to convert this demand function into inverse demand function okay that means we need to solve this very demand function for p so uh, we can do one thing here if i transpose this p uh, upon 2 here so we have 60 uh, minus uh, 60 minus q here okay and we can write p is equal to if i transpose this two it will get multiplied to each of these terms so this becomes 2 6 is up 12 we have 120 minus and 2 into q is 2q this is our inverse demand function okay also we are being told that cost function is being given as uh, q square okay so uh, let's write it here. What is the profit maximizing uh, maximization condition in case of monopolist? So profit maximization requires so profit maximization requires our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Simple stuff, nothing uh, unusual here. So we need to find out the marginal revenue and marginal cost. We have inverse demand function so first we need to find out total revenue to get the marginal revenue okay so total revenue is simply equal to price into quantity okay when we multiply price and quantity we get the total revenue price function is being given us which is our inverse demand function that is 120 minus 2q and to this we multiply this q so we have into q here so this comes out to be 120q uh, minus if uh, we multiply this q to each of these terms so we have 2q square here this is our total revenue okay and marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue uh, with respect to quantity so taking derivative of this function with respect to q gives us marginal revenue derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 120 minus derivative of q square is 2q so 2 to the 4q this is our marginal revenue also total cost is given us so let us write it as total cost or uh, simply cost now marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost function with respect to quantity this is our cost function taking derivative of this function this cost function with respect to q gives us marginal cost so marginal cost will be simply derivative of q square is this 2 becomes coefficient exponent is subtracted by 1 so this becomes 2 q okay now let us uh, interpret it graphically also so profit maximization requires marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost so let me grab this out also okay so we have quantity on this axis and price on this axis okay <clears throat> we have the inverse demand function that is 120 minus 2 q let's uh, suppose this is our inverse demand function and intercept is 120 here obviously what is marginal revenue <clears throat> marginal revenue is 120 minus 4 q intercept is same but it is twice the slope of this demand function let us write it like this let us say this is our mr curve m r and this is our demand function okay and our marginal cost is 2q okay 
so if marginal cost is 2q so it will look like this this is our marginal cost now profit maximization <coughs> requires that marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost this is our marginal revenue this is marginal cost the intersection of these two gives us the equilibrium quantity and let us use another color we have here and equilibrium price or profit uh, maximizing output and price so using this very stuff marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost our marginal revenue is 120 uh, minus <coughs> 4q and we equate this with marginal cost which is equal to 2q solving for q so yen is minus 4q turn up or transposing it will become plus 4q so we have uh, <coughs> so plus 4q plus 2q becomes 6q 6q is equal to 120 which gives us q is equal to 120 upon 6 which gives us 6 ones are 6 twos are 12 so we get here 20 okay i hope i am making the calculation right here so profit maximizing level of output will be equal to 20 okay so we have q is equal to 20 here and what will be the uh, profit maximizing price so simply just plug, you know, plug this q uh, is equal to 20 in the dim uh, demand function uh, okay so if this is marginal revenue intersects marginal cost so price will be sorry this is not our price function so corresponding to this uh, equilibrium output the price can be found out found out by just going up to this demand function and we get here the profit maximizing price okay i made a mistake here and i am rectifying that very mistake here okay so just plug q is equal to 20 into the demand function this is our demand function demand function this is our demand function let's write it here this is our demand function 120 minus 2 q so p is equal to this very stuff so just plug the value of q here so put this q here in this equation we get profit maximizing price equal to 120 minus 2 into the value of q is 20 so we have p is equal to akatu uh, minus saji that comes out to be 120 minus eight, uh, 40 comes out to be 80 okay uh, i hope i am making the calculation right so we have here 80 as the profit maximizing price okay now so what are the prices at profits profits and output so we got this now we need to find the elasticity of demand at the profit maximizing output so how do we calculate the elasticity of demand so elasticity of demand is simple so okay so elasticity of demand is calculated let us write it here elasticity of demand let us denote it by d is equal to that is equal to uh, dq upon dp into p upon q this is the formula for elasticity of demand dq upon dp is nothing but the derivative of this ordinary demand function uh, the given demand function with respect to price okay so taking derivative of this very function what we have we have q is equal to 60 uh, minus so i can write it uh, one half can be written as 0 0.2 p or let's write it as it is okay we don't need to bother here so we have one upon two p so to calculate elasticity of demand we need to calculate this very derivative that means dq upon dp taking derivative of this demand, uh, demand function with respect to price so derivative of constant is zero derivative of p is one so we are left with one upon sorry minus one upon two this is our dq upon dp now elasticity of demand will be equal to dq upon dp which is one minus one upon two into the price which we calculated i guess that is 80 upon q equilibrium output which we calculated that is 
20. Equilibrium output or you call the profit maximizing output. So two ones are two four are. So we have two ones are two two are. I guess I get I got elasticity of demand is equal to minus two. Okay. If we want to take, we can also take the absolute value here. So elasticity of demand will be minus two. It's absolute value. So we got elasticity of demand is two. Now, how do we interpret this elasticity of demand? Simple. It says us uh, this very two which we got as elasticity of demand. It says us uh, if let us say price increases by one unit I or by one percent, quantity demanded will decrease by two percent. And same is uh, true for. Um, otherwise okay that is uh, that is if price and decreases by one percent quantity demanded will increase by two percent okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share with share with your friends and let's try to grow this channel up this is uh, and this is a and this is an initiative to make the mathematical economics free of cost for you people. I am not charging any single penny for these video videos. I have seen the number of uh, channels where they actually demand handsome uh, money uh, for these very videos. But I feel that I should not uh, monetize uh, my effort. So my endeavor will be to inculcate the mathematical stuff uh, to you people so um, that only needs your cooperation okay so if your feedback will be very important for me then i can move forward otherwise at times i get i will not say depressed as said not by the uh, reaction of the people because i give my hundred percent to make the stuff uh, for you people and at times the reaction the reaction or the response from you people or you people is not that very satisfying okay so let's try to see how does the how does this goes okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you